Hello my dear students, my name is Anmand Ladwa, welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to solve Karnataka State SSLC Exercise 10.3 or CBSE Class 10 Exercise 4.3. Question number 7. The difference of squares of two numbers is 180. The square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. Find the two numbers. Let us find the solution for the given problem. Let the larger number be x and the smaller number b y here they have given in the question the difference of squares of two numbers here the difference of squares of two numbers means difference of squares of two numbers is 180 is given let us consider this one as equation number 1. Now we will write the square of the smaller number is. So here we have taken smaller number as y. The square of smaller number is 8 times the larger number. So that is 8 times the larger number is x. So that is 8x. Let us take this one as equation number 2. Here we will substitute in 1. So in place of y square substitute 8x. So here we will write x square minus y square is 8x is equal to 180. Now we will transform this 180 from RHS to LHS. Now it will become x square minus 8x minus 180 is equal to 0. Here we have to split this middle term in such a way that if I add two numbers I must get minus 8 and if I multiply the same two numbers I must get minus 180. So here x square as it is and we are going to split this middle term as minus 18x plus 10x and minus 180 is equal to 0. You can see here 10 minus 18 gives us minus 8 and minus into plus is minus 18 tens are 1. 80. So let us consider these first two terms. So let us take out the common. So here x is common and inside of the bracket x minus 18 we can write and plus here 10 is common and inside of the bracket x minus 10 18 is a 180. So is equal to 0. So you can see x minus 18 and x minus 18 is common. So x minus 18 into x plus 10 is equal to 0. So this one can also be written as x minus 18 is equal to 0 or x plus 10 is equal to 0. Here if I transform this 18 from LHS to RHS so minus will become it is plus 18 or here x is equal to this plus 10 if I transform that side it will become minus 10. So here we can write the larger number is 18 because we are going to take only positive value not negative values. So here this is 18 is x. Next the smaller number number is y square is equal to 8x. Here we can write y square is equal to 8 into x is 18. So here y square is equal to 8 into 18 is 144. Let us transform this square from LHS to RHS. It will become square root. So y is equal to square root of 144. So 144 is a perfect square of 12. So here y is equal to plus or minus 12. Hello my dear students. Thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Hanuman Kladwa. If you want to watch the next video, you can click on this icon. And if you want to watch the previous video, then you can click on this icon. If you want to get the latest updated videos, then you can click on this button to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Jai Hind. Vande Matram.